Peace. My name is Jonathan Norman, and this is Chico, and we're going to take you on a guide through the jungles of Normania to see a royal toilet in its natural habitat. Once night begins to fall, we'll embark on our journey. Welcome back, nature enthusiasts. It's me and Chico here, and we're going to sneak up on a toilet. We found one. We've got to be very quiet so as not to disturb it. Come with me. It's night time in the Normanian jungles, and as you can see, a lot of creatures about. Come on. Here we see the wild toilet in its natural habitat, sleeping peacefully. Toilet and man have evolved over the years ta in tandem and have shared a symbiotic relationship with each other. The humans feed the toilet, and in return, the toilet, elim the, in return, the toilet eliminates human waste. This is useful for a variety of reasons, because human waste cons contains a ton of diseases and many other nasty things that can cause death and even sickness. As we talked about, humans and Taurus share a symbiotic relationship, but see the thing is, 2.6 billion people around the world, especially in impoverished countries in the Middle East and Africa, don't have a toilet of their own. This causes several problems, and luckily, but luckily, we have environmental engineers such as Mark Deschuse from Duke University to help ease the burden. Mark has developed a toilet which takes human waste, puts it in a container where bacteria digest it and convert it to methane. This methane is then burned. This toilet is highly efficient, and it only costs $100 for one family. Luckily for us, it doesn't need, luckily for them, it doesn't take any additional energy or water once it starts running. It's very helpful. In addition to Mark, several engineers, mathematicians, and environmental uh, sort of activists are working non-stop to create efficient toilets for children in these impoverished nations so that disease and water pollution does not occur. Luckily, with the help of human humanitarian efforts and governmental aid, we will one day see a world in which everyone has a toilet. We need to know. Let's get one last shot of the sleeping toilet before heading back to base camp. What a beauty. <laughs> oh, I hope you've had a good time following us as we shoot a toilet in its natural habitat. I'm glad you uh, enjoyed this little segment and don't forget to tune in next week for a bit on walruses. That's Jonathan Norman and Chico signing out. Special thanks to my cameraman Chris, who without this, we wouldn't have been able to do this beautiful project. Shout out to my partner Michael Fulton for his bit in developing it. Thank you Fulton, we'll see you next time on Nature Adventures with Norman. Ooh. Ooh, kill him. Alright, we done.